Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be covering the five best examples of the new assistant API technology that was just released by OpenAI. So if you're a developer looking for new ideas on how to use this technology, this is the video for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. So for our first example, I want to show you how Wes was able to create a YouTube description generator. Basically what it does is he created an assistant that allows him to pass in a transcript for any YouTube video and it will create the description that he can paste underneath the video whenever he publishes it. So instead of talking about it, let me just show you what Wes is doing in action. So now we can upload the file and say, do it for this file. Or I guess you probably don't even have to say anything, but let's click add and run. And here it is. So YouTube description creator based on the transcript. Here's a summary and section breakdown of this YouTube video. So as you can see, if you read through this, this is awesome. This normally would have taken about 10 to 15 minutes to type, but his assistant was able to do it pretty much instantaneously. And the part that I think is pretty meta and cool about this, he actually used his assistant to generate the description for this YouTube video. So if you come down here, also drop a like while you're watching, but if you come down here and you actually see that this is the description that it made for this video. So you can see it actually worked in real time and before we go i just want to mention two other things first off if you're just getting into making assistance this is by far the best video that i've seen so far on the subject so you're definitely going to want to check it out which leads me to my next point i will be putting a link to each one of the examples that i'm going to be showing you in today's video all right let's go ahead and hop to the next one and in this next example versin introduces us to agent swarms which are basically assistants controlling other assistants and in this example he's using his agent swarms to generate the stock comparison that you're seeing on the screen right here and what's interesting about this tutorial is that he only used two different agents to produce this he used a coding assistant agent and then a proxy agent to generate that stock picture that you're looking at just a second ago but let me go ahead and let you actually see how these agents work in real time all the real magic starts around six minutes and six seconds so let's go ahead and start playing what is today's date? As you can see, the user proxy agent immediately calls the code agent with a given task. Although the first time it might not get the recipient name right, it immediately corrects itself and then the code execution agent starts to execute the file function. The function calls are displayed in red color and the function outputs are displayed in yellow. After the code assistant agent writes the code to the file, it executes it and returns the current date to the user proxy agent, which this agent then prints for us below. So as you you can see in his example his agents were controlling each other to find the current date and as he goes throughout the rest of the video he then asked the agents to go fetch all of the recent stock data for those two different companies and then generate a python plotly chart to create that initial stock chart that you stall at the beginning of the video and what i would also like to say is versin does an amazing job covering the architecture behind creating this agent swarm so if you're looking into creating these types of tools this is the video that you need to watch. All right, on to the next one. So this third example actually comes from OpenAI, but this example was buried deep inside of one of their later videos where they talk specifically about creating assistance. So here's what's gonna happen in this example and then I'll let her take it from here. What you'll notice is they've created an assistant that helps people with their personal finances and they've set it up to actually work with a code interpreter. So what this is gonna allow them to do is pass in files such as a list of all her monthly expenses from the past month and then it will be able to generate charts and answer questions for her. So let me go ahead and play the video for you guys. Now my user is asking for a chart. So generate a chart showing which day of the week I spend the most money. Awesome. So now I've done a compound action to create a thread, add a message, and kick off the run. You can see things are happening in the background. Let's talk about what's going on. When we've kicked off the run, we will get all of the messages on the thread, summarize them for the model to fit the context window, determine if it's called any tools, execute the tools, and then give that information back to the model. So I know that did take just a little bit, but if you think about what just happened, it's amazing. She uploaded a file, that file then was passed over to the assistant where it actually parsed through all the data to figure out what days she was spending the most money. And that's crazy that it's able to actually sort by days to figure out when she's spending money and then generate a chart from there so that she can see that, hey, on Sundays, she's blowing, uh, blowing her budget. She's spending 2,500 bucks a day. So that's crazy. So let's go ahead and move on to the next example. 
In this fourth example, Mervin does a fantastic job showing us how the Assistant API can be used with Retrieval to basically create a second brain. And if you've been using ChatGPT for a while now, as a programmer, you know it's kind of a pain to ingest data, index it, store it over in a vector database like Pinecone or something, and then start passing that data over to ChatGPT to get answers on your data. And Mervin shows us how quickly and easy it is to use it using the Assistant API. So let me go ahead and let him take it from here equals type retrieval by mentioning retrieval tool here you are indexing the data you are embedding the data and also you are saving that in vector database everything is taken care of by the assistance api now we need to upload a file here to do that file equals client files create then file equals open sums.txt and the purpose is for the assistance then closing bracket and then he basically goes on from here but the quick summary of what he just showed you is he basically made a new assistant model it's a type retrieval from there he's just going to start passing in files to this new assistant retrieval and then he can ask it any question this is infinitely easier than the way it used to be so mervin does a great job of breaking this down all right, on to the next one. So our fifth and final example is going to be a Telegram bot. And basically what it does is it uses the Assistant API to go off and retrieve questions that you pass into it. So let's go ahead and watch it in real time. So what he's going to do is pass in a question, then he's going to send it. And then once he sends it, it's going to go off and it's going to hit our assistant API who's going to check for the answer and then it's going to send it back. So this is an awesome tool. And what I really like about it is that the creator of this tool actually went ahead and created a GitHub project that you guys can go ahead and actually clone this code and see how he was able to create it. So this is a this is a great way to get started if you're looking to try and integrate the assistant API with other types of projects and tools just like he did in this example. But that's a wrap for this video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you want to see other AI related content just like this, be sure to check out the other videos and tutorials on my channels. But with that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.